In this segment, I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, change or accept default values. At this point in the program, I've drawn in my dike for a wetland, I've drawn in the watershed, I've drawn in the maximum flow line, and I've put in a runoff curve number. The program has generated the maximum wetted edge, which is this green line. So at this point in time then, I want to begin to generate results for my wetlands. So I'm going to click on the icon, click Create Wetland. At this point in time, I get a pop-up menu that allows me to look over default values and modify those if I want to. The curve number is a runoff curve number. I can either use the GIS value that I generated earlier using the runoff curve number calculator, or I can enter my own value. The average slope is the percent slope of the watershed, and I can either use the GIS value, or if I want to use the soil survey and generate my own average watershed slope, I can override the GIS value and put in my own. For base flow, uh, that is determined by whether I can have some continuous flow coming from the watershed going into the dike and the wetland, and so uh, continuous flow is going to determine whether I need a trickle tube or not and whether certain options are available. So in this case, I'm going to say yes, I have continuous base flow, and so my default is no, but I'm going to change that to yes. Um, there are no berms required, so if you want to use a berm, you can enter your own berm uh, and say how wide you want it. Uh, you need to choose mineral or organic. The default is mineral. And of course, mineral or organic determines the maximum fill height for your dike. The top width is the uh, factor where you determine the minimum top width that you want for your dike. So in the case of maybe you want a minimum dike width of 8 feet, you would use your own value and put in 8 feet. Now the really nice thing about the program is that if the value uh, according to standards and specifications, turns out to be 10 feet and you entered 8 feet, it will override your 8 feet and enter 10 feet. So what you're really entering is a minimum value that you're willing to accept, but the program may override that if they require a wider top width for the top of the dam. Front slope and back slope, the same thing. We have default value plugged in. If you want to put in your own value for front slope and back slope, you can enter those also.